Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you on the bright side. We welcome your calls at 844-236-6010. We want to help you change your life today with the power of nutrition, the power of dietary strategies, the power of lifestyle strategies without using the medical model, without using drugs, without using medical strategies that don't do anything to help us at the, bottom, uh, at the fundamental level. There's no medical strategy on planet Earth, drug, surgery, device, that is going to restore our body back to health, with the exception of perhaps mechanical and structural kinds of issues. From a metabolic or biochemistry standpoint, medicine has no business mucking around with the human body. From a biochemistry standpoint, that is. I am all for emergency surgeries if you need them. I've torn my knee up, and I was very glad I had a competent surgeon to repair my knee. I'm not Pollyannish about this idea of using nutrition or avoiding the medical model. But when it comes to what we deal with, for the most part, when it comes to our health challenges, our chronic degenerative diseases, medicine is useless and helpless and completely impotent. And I, for the life of me, I can't figure out why we don't see this as a culture, present company excluded. You guys all know this. But as a culture, it's hidden in plain sight that we are sicker than ever before and we have more doctoring than ever before at the same time. It's quite obvious there's nothing the medical model can do for diabetes, there's nothing the medical model can do for autoimmunity, there's nothing the medical model can do for any chronic long-term progressive degenerative disease, whether we're talking acne or atherosclerosis. It can change our test scores, that's all. It can change our markers, that's all. And who makes up the markers? Who makes up the test scores? The medical model. All right. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Longevity products, you can call 866-735-2470. You can also head to our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you're interested in joining the Brightside Ben team and helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program while you start yourself a business, if you're an entrepreneur or you're entrepreneurially minded, you want to work out of the home, you like this idea of using nutrition, it's helped you in your life, you've observed it in others, uh, the lives of others, and you want to use nutrition as a vehicle for uh, having your own home-based business, we'd love to have you on the Brightside Ben team. For a one-time $25 fee, you can get all your products at the wholesale price. Call 866-735-2470 or head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and sign up right off the websites. Okay, so we've been talking about alpha hydroxy acids and glycolic acid. I have to say I have a vast expertise in this stuff. I've been working with it hardcore for 35 years. I've formulated hundreds of alpha hydroxy acid products, and I've learned a thing or two about how you use these things and how, why they're so important. They're exercising the skin. They, ex they stimulate the movement. They upregulate, my favorite word in biochemistry, they upregulate chemistry in the skin, anti-age the skin. We said turnover time is four to eight weeks. That is the, the amount of time it takes for a skin cell to go from the bottom to the top. 
in its journey upwards as it starts off from a round, plump, juicy cell at the bottom and becomes flat and dead at the end. That, that uh, movement upwards, which is how the barrier is formed from the living cells upwards, that's a, a four-week process when we're kids. Five weeks, six weeks, seven weeks, eight week as we get older. Ultimately, it can be a, an eight-week or even more process. That's called aging. AHAs reverse that. Alpha hydroxy acids, that is. They reverse that. As we age, everything slows down. Everything. Including the movement of skin cells. And topical use of alpha hydroxy acids can reverse that condition. It speeds things up. It can speed things up. In essence, anti-aging the skin. On the other hand, sometimes skin cells do not fall off like they should. They accumulate on the top of the skin. That's another interesting skin condition. Usually nutritional deficiencies are involved, especially in fats and fatty vitamins and fatty minerals. When dead, skins, uh, dead skin cells, I should say, pile up on the surface of the skin, they don't flop off as they should, the skin will appear to be ashy. People say, I have ashy skin. That's what ashy skin is. Ashy skin is cells that are piling up on the skin surface. They're not flopping off correctly. They're sticky. They're not dissolving as they should. Usually it involves problems. That, well, no, it always involves bi biochemical problems around enzymes. And those enzymes, uh, enzyme issues typically will involve or usually involve some kind of malabsorption or nutrient deficiency. Ashy skin is not dry skin. Everybody thinks ashy skin is dry skin. Dermatologists will tell you ashy skin is dry skin. And they'll tell you to use moisturizers. I was reading Cosmo here from uh, 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 Googling ashy skin. I was reading Cosmo. Cosmopolitan has an article. Six no-fail ways to avoid ashy skin. One, skip the body lotion and reach for the body cream instead. What? Are you kidding me? When it comes to, uh, this is, this, I'm reading this from Cosmo. When it, this is, oh, by the way, this is Dr. Janine B. Downey, MD, a cosmetic dermatologist at Image Dermatology. She says ashy skin develops because the skin is actually dehydrated. Well, she's partially right, but the dehydration itself is not because you're not drinking enough water. It's because of enzymes. It's because of biochemistry and especially nutritional deficiency. Dr. Downey suggests using body, lo or body creams instead of body lotions. Boneheaded dermatological device or advice. She says, avoid hot showers and baths and drying soaps. It's not moisturization. It has nothing to do with that. In fact, hot showers and hot baths can help get rid of the ashy skin if you do it right. Use an alpha hydroxy acid cleanser and a washcloth. Three, seal your skin with an oil. Oh, my God. What are you? This is craziness. Seal your skin with an oil. Four, don't scratch. Okay, that's true. You don't want to scratch. Exfoliate at least once a week. Now, we get, now we're getting somewhere. That's what you want to do when you have dry skin. Exfoliate, or I'm sorry, ashy skin, or even dry skin for that matter, because remember, when you exfoliate, you speed up the production of those moisture factors. But if you have ashy skin, you want to exfoliate. You want to stimulate it. You want to move it. It's, it's, it's a sluggishness. It's not dry skin. It's sluggish skin. It's slow skin. Ashy skin is slow skin. It's skin which has a metabolic biochemistry problem at the level of its Flopping off, flopping off in, in uh, the chemi chemical term, the biochemical or biological term for flopping off is desquamation. Desquame, squame means cell. To desquame is to have cells fall off. Desquame, desquamation. It's like natural exfoliation. Desquamation is what the body does on its own or the skin does on, on its own. Exfoliation duplicates it. So you have a desquamation problem, exfoliate. That's how you handle it. Now, of course, you do want to absolutely make sure that you're correcting any metabolic or, or nutritional deficiencies that are affecting the metabolism or the chemistry in the skin, and that means vitamin A, and that means zinc, and that means probably vitamin C as well. That means essential fatty acids. It means selenium. Interestingly, with the exception of vitamin C there, the, uh, those are fatty nutrients. It tends to involve problems with fats. We've said this so, so many times. Digestion is made up of water, of breaking up foods into its watery components and its fatty components, and by far and away, the big, biggest problem when it comes to digestion and absorption involves the fatty part of the body, the fat system. All right, 844 is our number, and I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this.
Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about skin health or health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, the longevity products, if you have a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you're advertised or recommended, on the bright side, call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, or purchase products off of brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And our truth treatment products are all up at truthtreatments.com, our truth Retinol 5% gel, Truth Omega 6 healing cream, Truth Transdermal Sea Balm, and our Truth Transdermal Sea Serum. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, oil, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. In any of our Truth treatment products, all made with 100% active and functional ingredients, including our new Biomimetic Priming Mist made with fulvic minerals. I have been in love with fulvic minerals. Well, I've loved colloidal and, and electrical minerals, so-called polyelectrolytes, for 30 years. But lately, last few years anyway, I've been totally, totally fascinated with fulvic minerals. Electrical minerals that are found in the soil that are the result of the conversion of rocks into electrically active minerals. Basically, I guess you would say, fulvic minerals are electrically activated minerals. And they're electrically activated by the action of plants, by the action of microbes, by the action of soil. They live in the soil. They're great for your plants, fulvic minerals. There are all, um, there's all kinds of products for feeding your plants fulvic minerals. And the same thing, the same benefits you get for your plants, you get for cells, for skin. Fulvic minerals are unbelievably valuable topically, especially when it comes to increasing the penetration of other nutrients, particularly vitamins. Yes, fulvic minerals will improve the penetration of vitamins. And that's why I created my fulvic acid biomimetic priming mist. It primes the skin for your truth balm, truth serum, truth omega-6 healing cream, truth retinol, 5% gel. All our truth treatment products, including soon anyway, within the next few weeks, our biomimetic priming mists are up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, we, uh, we'll get your calls in our next segment. I want to finish a little bit talking about ashy skin Ashy skin is a problem for a lot of folks, but it's especially a, a problem for African-American or dark skin, not because necessarily that dark skin is more prone to ashy skin, but the darker your skin is, the more obvious the ashy skin is. The ek, because the dead cells tend to be lighter. There's no pigment in there, so the, the ashiness shows up more on darker skin, but it happens to everybody. And it's not dryness. In fact, when we feel dry skin, not just ashy skin, when we feel dryness, that's not really dryness that we're perceiving. That's hardness we're perceiving. We don't really have dry skin. We got hard skin. And ashy skin is not really dry skin. It's sluggish skin. Ashy skin is not the same as dry, what we call dry skin. Dry skin is a hardness problem. And that's why you could put, that's why when you put uh, fat on top of your skin, it feels like you're moisturized, quote unquote. You are not moisturized. You just soften that brittleness. It doesn't do, doesn't do anything for dryness. And ashy skin is not dry skin either. It's slow skin. It's skin that has a metabolic problem, a chemistry problem, and you want to handle it at the chemistry level. You can't handle it at the topical level, although exfoliation can certainly improve the condition. Exfoliation doesn't just speed things up. It slows things down. It normalizes. It stabilizes. So you'll get a stabilization in the movement of skin cells when you exfoliate. It's kind of an intelligent process. It stabilizes the growth of cells if they're growing too fast, and it speeds them up if they're growing too slow. And by the way, dandruff is the same thing. Dandruff is also a desquamatory issue. The skin cells are not desquaming. They're not falling off because we're nutritionally deficient or we have malabsorption. You say, well, wait a minute. I think dandruff is when skin cells really fall off. They fall off a lot. I see it all over the place. When you have dandruff, you can see it on your shoulders. You can see it in your hair. Does that mean skin cells are falling off too fast? No. It means that the skin cells are falling off too heavy. What I mean by that is skin cells are supposed to flop off one at a time. You can't see them when they flop off. Skin cells are flopping off all everywhere. 
as you're sitting here listening to this radio show, as I'm sitting here doing this radio show, our skin cells are flying out into the air. If you're in a room with a bunch of people, you got a bunch of skin cells floating around in the air, billions of them. What happens with dandruff is the skin cells don't fall off one at a time because they're sticky. They're not moving. They're sluggish. And when they don't fall off one at a time, eventually they start to clump up and finally get so heavy, they just fall off because of the weight, not because of the chemistry. And what we call a dandruff flake is really a whole bunch of scalp cells, skin cells, scalp cell being a skin cell. It's a whole bunch of them. So dandruff is just like ashy skin, except because the hair is there and uh, you don't see things and it keep, the hair keeps the, the flakes from accumulating or uh, keeps the uh, skin cells from falling off too early or the flakes from falling off too early. They kind of build up. It's a sluggishness, dandruff is. And once again, we're talking nutrient deficiency and malabsorption. We're talking zinc. Pro, uh, zinc. And by the way, head and shoulders is zinc. Head and shoulders, the most famous of the, all the dandruff shampoos, is the active ingredient is zinc. And oh, by the way, so is uh, Selston Blue, the active ingredient is selenium. What does that tell you? Zinc and selenium can be used topically for ashy skin or for dandruff. Now, it's certainly not as good as using zinc and selenium internally to, or as a nutritional supplement. That's the real way to take care of your ashy skin, take care of your dandruff. The real way to take care of everything is to get yourself on a nutritional supplement program. Go to the dermatologist for ashy skin. Go to the dermatologist for dandruff. There's nothing they can do. They'll give you head and shoulders, except they'll give you a prescription strength head and shoulders. And you'll pay 10 times the price, and you'll have to wait in line at the pharmacy and deal with all of, all of the uh, indignities that you have to deal with when you go to the doctor. And they won't help you. And essential fatty acids, I don't want to forget those, omega-3s and omega-6s for all skin health issues. Omega-3s and omega-6s. And that includes oily skin, by the way. Acne-prone skin that's oily. Sometimes people will say, I don't want any essential fatty acids. My skin's already too oily. No. When your skin is oily, you're feeling a thick oil. You're not necessarily feeling too much oil. You're feeling a thick oil. Now, sometimes you're feeling a too much oil. A too, mu too much oil, that sensation is caused by stress. Oily skin and cortisol go hand in hand. And if you, if you know anybody or if you yourself has chronically oily skin, you can rest assured you're dealing with adrenal issues, and that's where you want to handle the problem of oily skin. Sometimes oil can be thick. And that doesn't feel so good either. This is where uh, comedones or pimples can form when you have thick oil. Sebum, that's the technical name for skin oil, has supposed, it's supposed to flow. It's supposed to have this kind of liquidy nature, and that liquidy nature is achieved via essential fatty acids, which sebum is partially made up of. But under conditions of EFA deficiency, and by the way, it's omega-6s that thin the sebum, Omega-3s really don't play, a, they don't play anywhere near as a significant role as omega-6s do in the skin. The skin is very dependent on omega-6s. I find that ironic because a lot of people are under the impression that they, they don't need or they shouldn't take omega-6 fats, and that's flat out wrong. Oh, but we get lots of them. No, we don't. We get lots of oils that contain omega-6s or, or should contain omega-6s, but because of processing and cooking, and we don't get, any, we don't get enough omega-6s, we don't get enough omega-3s, and if you have a skin problem, it's the omega-6s that you're looking at, not the omega-3s. So much misunderstanding in the world of health and in the world of skin especially. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Back on the Bright Side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central, 24-7 on our archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com and benfuchsarchive.com. You can uh, also find a search engine at benfuchsarchives.com, also brightsideben.com, and all the programs are archived. We've got six years, let's see, almost seven years of programs archived at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. You can also purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. All right, our, our number today, 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here in just one moment. I wanted to read the story that I was going to read yesterday, and I didn't get a chance to. Uh, I, this is just so interesting to me. A couple of these here. First of all, uh, let's see, I'll read this one first. The European Journal of Internal Medicine. Med medicinal cannabis is safe and effective. It's time to reboot the research. Med medicinal cannabis is safe and effective in pain relief, and researchers calling for the treatment 
to be properly established in our our researchers are calling for the treatment to be po properly established in our modern medical arsenal. Well, of course, what do we have to see to appreciate the medicinal benefits of this stuff? Oh, but you can get high. All right, fine. You can get high. So what? <laughs> the stuff is amazing medicine for pain relief, for anxiety, for cancer, for sleep disorders, for depression. I and mean, what do we need to see? What, what is this marijuana, -phob marijuana phobia that culturally, and it's not, it's the government really, it's not the individual people, it's not people who aren't marijuana phobic, it's governments. What, what's up here? What is craziness? It's a medicine. And yes, you can get high from it. All right, fine. But it's a medicine. That doesn't mean that you need to have government regulation and people going to jail and fines and taxes for something that grows out of the ground. Speaking of which, medicine, this is from the Journal of Internal Medicine, coffee cannabis connection. Guess what cannabis also does? It helps clear, uh, I'm sorry, guess what, uh, caffeine helps clear cannabis out of the body. Cannabis is, there's an interaction between cannabis and caffeine. Caffeine stimulates the clearance of, actually, coffee stimulates the clearance of all steroid hormones. Caffeine does which is kind of interesting right there because there's a lot of health challenges that are due to excess amounts of estrogen, excess amounts of testosterone, or I should say breakdown products, metabolites of testosterone and estrogen, and cannabis and coffee can help clear those out. Coffee also can help clear out uh, cannabinoids out of the body. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to Josephina in New York. Good morning, Josephina. How you doing? Good morning, Ben. What's going on? Um, I was calling to find out, well, we wait for your um, product. I know that you're going to do a product for cleaning and other things. Yeah, yeah. Can you can you recommend like a glycolic acid? Where uh, can I buy it and also can't. like a cleaner? Uh, uh, I would use there's a couple things you could do. Glycolic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid, right? That's what we've been talking mm -hmm. about. Aloe mm -hmm. contains other alpha hydroxy acids, so I like aloe. Apple cider vinegar okay. contains al uh, alpha hydroxy acid, so you can use apple cider vinegar. So lots of things you can do at home. I, I'm going to have some, some cleansers and such coming out here uh, in, over the course of the coming months. But in the meantime, I like aloe. I like uh, mm -hmm. apple cider vinegar, uh, wine even, or even, you know, what else you could do is you could take those frozen uh, orange juice concentrates, and you could mm -hmm. either scoop it, take a teaspoon out of there and stir it up in, uh, in your favorite cleanser, or you could stir it up in water even and just kind of use it on a washcloth and kind of gently use the orange juice solution. Don't want it to be too sticky. Uh, the orange juice solution to kind of exfoliate your dead cells and also to clean your skin. Alpha hydroxy acids are cleaners. They're not just uh -huh. exfoliators. They're cleaners. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Remember, the okay. alpha hydroxy acid molecule is really has a very interesting characteristics, one of which is it's both watery and fatty. This is why you can use vinegar to clean your counters. You know, ever seen, they, they even mm -hmm. have cleaners yeah. with vinegar. Yeah, same idea. Uh, vinegar is an, uh, contains an alpha hydroxy acid, and these alpha hydroxy acids are watery and fatty. And anytime you have a molecule that's watery and fatty, it is a cleanser. That's what a soap is. A soap is a watery, half water, half, not half, but partially water, partially a fat-soluble molecule. And because of that, the dirt on our face or the dirt on your counter or dirt anywhere tends to be oily, and when you put the soap or the alpha hydroxy acid or whatever it is that's oily, uh, half oil, partial oil, partial water on your face, the dirt on your face migrates to the, or, uh, the fatty part of your soap or the fatty part of your alpha hydroxy acid. And then when you wash, rinse your face with the tap water from your sink, mm -hmm. the water attaches itself to the water part of the molecule. And the water part then can pull the fat part off the skin. Does that, I hope I explained that okay. It's kind of, it's not as complicated as I, made, as I just made it sound. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, when something's watery and fatty, both, mm -hmm. it acts as a great cleanser and alpha hydroxy acids are a great cleanser. And that's why I recommend aloe as a cleanser because of the alpha hydroxy acid content. So but you I can, can use buy it. any like natural aloe and wash my face with yep. that? Is Make that sure, what you're saying, Ben? Yeah, absolutely you can. Absolutely. Put it okay. on a wash, it's going to be hard to wash your face, but put it on a washcloth and use the mm -hmm. mechanical action of the washcloth plus the aloe to get rid of makeup and such and stuff. Uh, you might want to put a little uh, uh, coconut oil in there to improve the f ability of the uh, aloe to pull dirt off. Coconut oil is you know, more fatty, but uh, you, you may not need to. 
I, that's why I always say a blend of coconut oil and aloe. All right, Josefina, and then keep your eyes open and ears peeled, or eyes peeled and ears open for uh, my new products at truthtreatments.com. Thank you Thank so much. You. Have a great okay. day. Okay, bye. bye. Okay, let's go to Kevin in Pennsylvania. Good morning, Kevin. How you doing? Doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing good. What's going on today? Well, I think I've got a uh, deficiency absorption problem somewhere, and I'm hoping you can help me narrow it down. I'm okay. on a on a ketogenic diet, which I love. Yeah, good um, deal. Have you lost weight? Um, I have about 32 pounds over the past That's, couple of months. That's and, awesome. And fe- yeah, feeling awesome. How are you doing? The, what's your ketogenic diet deal? Just real quick. I know you got a question, but real quick, what are you doing? Yeah, no problem. So I fast. Uh, usually through the morning. Um, okay. In the afternoon, I'm doing uh, a salad um, uh, with a creamy dressing, you know, maybe some bacon on it, something to get the fat uh, content up. And okay. then uh, and then uh, in the evening, um, on, here's a plug for HelloFresh. My wife and I do HelloFresh meals. And, yeah? Uh, what exactly? Been, HelloFresh is where they deliver the, the, the box and then you cook it at home kind of thing? Exactly. Okay. And, uh, and so I just, you know, it's a, it's a, a balanced, uh, meal, meaning there's carbs in it, and I just I do the cooking at home, so I just leave those carbs out of my meal, and I do the nice the, the and protein side. So and you're yeah, full so, and satisfied. Um, you're not struggling. You're not yeah. suffering. Okay, good. That's exactly. awesome. And okay. I'm about 1,200 calories a day. That's awesome, and you and that's fine. You don't feel cravings and like you got to go eat and 12. Well, you, you, you know, every once in a while, God, I wish I had a donut or something. But yeah, <laughs> I'll pass it. You know. Okay. That's awesome. That's awesome. So what's going on? How can I help you? Well, so I'm doing the the on the go healthy body start pack. And okay. I've been doing that since uh since starting this uh ketogenic diet. But I'm okay. wondering if I'm I'm starting <laughs> I've narrowed down what I think I've narrowed down at least. Um I started getting um some chest pains and so I stopped the healthy start pack. They went away. Started again, they came back. Came back, stopped, and they went away. Interesting. Oh well, that's interesting. Now there's three different products in there, right? Right. But, um, okay. I'm not yeah. sure what the on-the-go healthy body is, but I'm assuming it's just the re- same as the healthy start it's pack, the right? Pills. It's the pills. It's, it's the, the pills version. instead of the. Okay. Okay. So you get the pills. Yeah. You get the. Right, hang on. Okay. We got to take a break. Hang on, and we'll finish up when we come back. I'm pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. are back on the bright side talking to Kevin in Pennsylvania. So you're, you do the uh, pills and you notice that your heart races, did you say? Or you got chest pain? Well, uh, it, it kind of a, a constricting feeling in my yeah. chest. And I, I was would... wondering if that's calcium. No, 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 no calcium. No? Okay. no, no nutrients going to do that. However, the fact is you did it three times, you said, and each time it happens. So there's something going on. I mean, that's a good experiment right, right there. I can't tell you what that is. I have no idea what that is. And there's okay. no nutrient that will make your heart, that will cause chest pain. Uh, I can tell well, you that. the other thing that I was thinking is, could it be like uh, one of the electrolytes? Am I not getting no, those? No, no, no. Okay. no. The body's got all these mechanisms for, for dampening, thing, uh, uh, dampening uh, the amount of something when, you, when it's uh, too high or, or raising it when it's too low, especially when you drink it. If you stick it IV, that can happen, I suppose. But when you drink it, there's too many mechanisms to control the to keep things stable, that shouldn't happen. Now, you know, there is, uh, you know, things like glaze on top. I, I, I have no idea what that is. I've never heard of that before. Okay. And I can tell you it's not a nutrient thing. It could be an excipient thing, I suppose. And I would tell you that there's no way that could happen, but you, you've done exactly what you're supposed to do, and that is go back and forth like that. Uh, you may right. want to try the, uh, you know, if you're really interested, you may want to try experimenting and get the powder and see if you get the same thing with the powder. And then you can trace okay. it down to an excipient. I mean, that's how you do experiments, and a lot of this is experimental. You know, you control... Right, right. What's, what's an excipient? An excipient is like a filler. You know, oh, because gotcha. when you make a tablet, you've got to put things like cellulose and stearic acid and stuff like that. But um, usually those are inert, so that's unlikely. I, it's, there's no way to know. I can't tell you what the answer is to that. However, if I were you, I would, you know, experiment a little bit. In fact, why don't you do this? Why don't you email me, ben at ksco.com, put your address there. I'll send you out on me some of the powder, 
and then uh, we can do a little experiment. You stay in touch with me. Sounds good. good. We'll do that. And put your, put your phone number on there, too. Okay? Appreciate it. Thank you, Kevin. Have a great day, man. Okay. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. That... Take care. I don't know what that would be, but a lot of this is just experimental. Uh, and in pharmacy school, we're told, let your body be a laboratory. Believe it or not, pharmacy, as pharmacy students, we were encouraged to try drugs. Not all of them, but occasionally different ones because you've got to know. You've got to know what these things are. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. Let's go to Lisa in Michigan, who was on yesterday. I think we cut her off. Hey, Lisa, how you doing? Hey, I'm, I'm doing great today. Um, you said to call back with a question about my dad. Um, a year ago, um, I had started giving him the EFAs and some skin, hair, and nails and things. He had had a, a valve replacement. So I wanted to, and he was willing, very willing to change and do these things. Um, but he's gotten on a very bad kick of all these cookies and cakes that are processed and made at the grocery store. And anyway, so about six weeks ago, he had his gallbladder out that had gangrene on it. But I've always oh. wondered, since he's had his, I, mean, I wanted you to speak to the gangrene part also, but the, I was always wondering. I was giving him the ESAs, and I know that when you get your gallbladder out, you can't absorb the fat. The doctors only told him, um, just avoid fatty foods. I asked my brother, did he tell him how to absorb the, and that's probably to prevent diarrhea and that kind of thing, but how, I said, did the doctor uh, tell him how to absorb the fatty nutrients he needs, as you uh, recommended to somebody else the other day, the zinc, and he's going to age extremely fast if these fatty nutrients are not absorbed. So I was wondering if you could talk about not that. only is he age fast, but he's gonna his body's just gonna deteriorate. It's not just aging. Well, I guess that die. is aging. They don't give you yeah. yeah right, it's gonna fall letter, apart. It takes a lot. Light. Let me tell you, it takes a lot of damage for the for the colon to get for the gallbladder to get gangrenous to, for, to get gangrene. Yes. That's a gallbladder. Wow. That's a seriously sick gallbladder. Seriously inflamed gallbladder. He didn't have any pain before. He, um. Yeah, he did. He'd, he'd had, yes, he'd had um, the year before a couple episodes where he was really sick. My brother took him I can to only the hospital. Imagine. It yeah. takes a lot. It was, takes a lot. Yeah, that was about a year, year ago, uh, the past year, year and a half. And, um, you know, after he was recovering from his um, valve replacement from the heart surgery. And mm -hmm. um, he still I mean, he has trouble, um, like when he walks, he still has trouble breathing. Which how old is he? The valve how, how, he how old? Well, he started this problems about, I want to say, between six and eight years ago. My mom died six years ago. The health, the, How know, old? Please. How old? Uh, he's 76. Okay. Well, Just I mean, he's too 76. young. He doesn't have, this does not yeah. have to happen. I, I would be taking serious, if I, it was me, and, and he's serious about it, you got to take, yeah, you got to yeah, take will, drastic yeah, measures. Yeah, fasting, fasting, no more eating. I, I'm kidding a little bit. No more eating a lot. Very small amounts of right. food. Uh, nutrient dense foods, digestive enzymes with all his meals, apple cider vinegar with all his meals, smoothies, soups, juices, get a Vitamix, grind up everything. Yes. Make sure he's getting enough fiber. Problem when you start grinding up everything, sometimes you miss the fiber. So make sure he's grinding up veggies to get the fiber. Um, uh, uh, beyond tangy tangerine, nu nutrient drinks. You got to pound yeah. the nutrients in this guy. Pound them. I know. I know. You know. It's got to be a medical procedure here. Yeah, but you got to do it, but you got to do it carefully because he's not going to be absorbing things. So you got to do it I carefully. Know. When I say pound the nutrients, especially I'm talking about food stuff, but you got to be a little bit careful, but you really got to get him nutriated. He's functionally starving, basically, is how you want to look at it. He's malnourished. Yes. Put it this, not starving, but malnourished, functionally malnourished. And that's just going to accelerate his demise. And if he's really serious about it, um, I would be doing protein drinks and, and essential, uh, put essential fatty acid liquid in the, in the smoothies and liquids and all that, all that kind of stuff. All, everything we talk about, except he just has zero tolerance for anything different. No more cakes and cookies, that's for sure. Right. I mean, so I mean, those does, days so are gone. That, yeah, I know. I try to tell him. How does the um, fatty acids absorb without a bile bladder? I mean, they don't. Well, you always have a little bile. You know, your liver's making bile. There's two, there's two little tubes that run into the intestine that uh, transport bile. A little tiny tube from the liver and a much bigger squirting system from the gallbladder. The gallbladder, when you lose the gallbladder, you lose the big one, but you still have a little bit. This is why doctors feel comfortable taking out the gallbladder, is because they say, well, you're going to get some from your liver and there's a little tube, and that's true. So you always have some. It's just that it's compromised. It's drastically compromised. So make sure he's doing his EFAs with food and with his uh, digestive enzymes. 
Get them on okay, the ultimate enzymes for all meals. Absolutely. And apple cider it, vinegar, okay. stomach bitters, lecithin, bile salts, all the stuff we talk okay. about. Probiotics. Yeah, the bile must, salts. Don't forget mm-hmm. the probiotics. There's a major, there's a cross, there's crosstalk between the intestines and the liver at the level of those probiotics. So making sure he's getting the, his microbiome taken care of. There's a lot of things you could do, but focus on the gut, especially on uh, fat malabsorption issues. I got I to gotta motivate okay. here, my dear. Thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you. Thanks for calling. Thank you. God bless Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck with everything there. Let's uh, go to John in Michigan. Good morning, John. Welcome to the Bright Side. You're welcome, Ben. I, I have a, a friend whose uh, grandson has Crohn's disease. Uh, Tragic. I know, I just, and um, then his other younger uh, grandson, who's around three, all he wants is sweets. And um, he di- he's, his digestion's okay? I guess so, but that's what he craves. Do you know who Jordan Rubin is? Oh, yes, I do. Do you get him Jordan Rubin's books? Jordan cured himself of Crohn's disease. He started a business, several businesses, and as you know, he's uh, he's uh, uh, formulates a lot of the no, the longevity products. Yeah, my sister's Mary Toko, the vaccine lady, and and she knows Jordan very well. Good. Okay, that's on the Crohn's, and then now my wife has something called Miracle Retinal Moisturizer, and it has everything in it but what you have. It has green tea in it. You don't um, need green tea. I don't tea. know why she bought yeah. this because I, I know. Think, be, be, because we don't know, you know, we don't understand the mechanisms, so we treat things at the surface because we don't. Nobody teaches us the mechanisms. That's what I do on this program, is I teach right. you guys the mechanisms, how these things happen. If we don't understand how these things happen, we can't, we can't manipulate it. We fall prey to every little commercial and and doctor who supposedly knows what they're talking about and uh, la- nice lady at the department store. And it's just unfortunate. We got to understand the mechanisms of how the skin works if we're going to be able to buy skincare products. We've got to be mechanics. We've got to be skin mechanics. You know, in, the, in, in your car, you, can't, you don't understand the mechanisms of your car. You're at the mercy of the mechanic, right? Well, it that's the same. With, Go it ahead. starts off with organic olive oil, um, aloe vera, sunflower oil, palm oil, uh, fossil lip well, oil. We'll, I'm happy to deconstruct that. I'd love to deconstruct that. I, just, I only have about 20 seconds, so I can't I know, really do I know. Now. And then it but, has xanthium gum. Well, yeah. yeah. Why don't you call? Why don't you call me? Do you want to call me uh, on Monday? We'll deconstruct. I'd be happy to do that. And as a matter of fact, oh, that's a standing invitation. We'll deconstruct your favorite well, skincare well, call product. Call me. Uh, yeah. Give me your number, and I'll call you. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, no. Call me. Call the number you called here. We'll do it on the air. And anybody out there, if you wanted me to deconstruct your skincare product, <clears throat> I'd be happy to do that. <clears throat> so you'll show you how this whole thing is done. And you all want to be ingredient readers when it comes to our supplements, when it comes to our uh, foods, and also when it comes to our skin health products. In my opinion, we want to be ingredient readers. The more we understand about ingredients, the less we're going to fall prey to predators who are there at every turn to extract our hard-earned dollars for uh, mostly baloney. All right, 84423. I'm sorry. 866-735-247. John, I got to go, buddy. Thanks for calling. 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. Sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business for yourself. 866-735-2470 is their number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.